7 Guidelines for Creative Thinking and Solving Any Issue with It Each of us has the power to be innovative. It becomes part of our natural makeup as human beings. The problem is that, too often, we obstruct our natural creativity and so make mistakes in thinking and offer ourselves more issues than we should. Here are 7 ways to open up your natural creativity and keep the channels unblocked. 1. Do not make presumptions. When we presume, we typically make an ass out of you and me. Presumptions are examples of lazy thinking. We just don't wait to get all the details we require to come to the ideal conclusions. There is the story of the consumer at the bank who after turning and cashing a check to leave, returns and says, excuse me, I believe you made a mistake. The cashier reacts, I'm sorry however there's absolutely nothing I can do. You should have counted it. As soon as you leave we are no longer accountable. Whereupon the consumer responds, well, fine. Thanks for the additional $20. Tip, when you feel yourself wanting to reason, simply wait until you have all the information. 2. See things from other perspectives. A truly open mind wants to accept that, not just do other individuals have other just as valid points of view from theirs, however that these other points of view may be more valid. A story is told that the modernist painter Pablo Picasso was when taking a trip on a train throughout Spain when he entered into discussion with a rich business owner who was dismissive of contemporary art. As proof that modern-day art didn't correctly represent reality, he secured a picture of his better half from his wallet and said, this is how my partner ought to look, not in some ridiculous elegant representation. Picasso took the image, studied it for a few minutes and asked, this is your other half? The business person proudly nodded. She's extremely small, observed Picasso wryly. Pointer, don't have a monopoly on how things are. Things aren't constantly what they appear. Be ready to consider other viewpoints. 3. Prevent yo-yo thinking. Some individuals tend to tend to swing from an extremely positive state of mind one minute to a highly negative one the next, all because of what they see in front of them. It resembles a yo-yo, up one minute, down the next. It's much more healthy to stay neutral and not let feelings get the better of you. Pointer, keep in mind that things are hardly ever as good or as bad as you believe they are. 4. Eliminate lazy thinking behaviors. Routine can be a significant stumbling block to clear thinking and another example of laziness. Attempt this experiment. Document the Scottish surnames MacDonald, McPherson, and McDougall and ask somebody to pronounce them. Now follow these with the word machinery and see what happens. The majority of people are most likely to mispronounce it. This is since we tend to think in regular ways and don't like what doesn't fit. Suggestion, do not think that, even if things took place in a certain method as soon as before, that they will happen like that once again. 5. Do not think like an old person, believe like a child. Research shows that the variety of synapses, or connections, in the brain is greater in a child of two than in a typical adult. The reason for this is that, while a child of two has no limiting worldview, as adults we do. It resembles a sculptor who starts with a large block of clay, more than he needs, and then slowly eliminates the clay as he molds his sculpture. If we utilize our brain like a child, accepting whatever without judgment, we can really stop and reverse the brain aging procedure. Pointer, don't fret about the misconception of age. With the best stimulus and an enthusiasm for knowing, you can actually improve your brain's powers. 6. See the detail along with the big picture. You might understand the poem by John Godfrey Sachs called, The Blind Guys and the Elephant. This informs how six blind men of Indostan visit each shot and an elephant to exercise what it is from touching it. One blind male touches the tusk, another the trunk, another the tail, and so on. Of course, not being able to see the whole elephant, they come to extremely various conclusions. Tip, attempt to keep the big picture in front of you while looking at information. 
it will help to put whatever in its proper place and context. 7. Believe for yourself. Taking time out to believe is still disapproved in lots of companies that reward activity over imagination. People who work in creativity-constrained organizations are most likely to think the method they are expected to believe, or as others think, or as has always been the way to think. It's like the blinkered thinking that Hans Christian Andersen explains in his story of the Emperor's New Clothing. Everyone in the land refuses to see that the Emperor is naked and has been deceived into thinking he is wearing a magnificent outfit for his coronation. Only a young kid who has been ill and not celebration to the cultural brainwashing can see the reality and cries out, look, everybody, the emperor is wearing no clothing. Suggestion, don't let others inform you how to believe. Tell it to them straight when others ask your opinion. As soon as you make these seven methods part of your habitual thinking patterns, you will surprise yourself with how simple it is to come up with fresh, innovative and imaginative services to all of life's problems.